Taking the few belongings they could carry, they left Mali. Once at Embera camp in Mauritania, the refugees are far from the conflict, but living conditions are precarious. When they get here, they're clearly exhausted, tired and starving, and some of them are dehydrated. Since the start of the year, the number of malnourished children has more than doubled, and the harsh living conditions are only making matters worse. Our children are ill, and it's hard to get treatment for them. There aren't enough latrines or water. Close to 170,000 refugees now live in the countries bordering Mali. They hear the stories of the continuing violence back in Mali, and they're not going to return home anytime soon. We are in the camp in Jasira, in the Somali capital. The city's inhabitants and people displaced by the conflict need medical care, particularly pregnant women. They give birth in very difficult conditions at the mercy of the slightest complication. Everybody is fine? Great! MSF opened the hospital in 2011 and the maternity unit has been full ever since. 200 women gave birth here during the first two months of 2013. The hospital also provides outpatient consultations and has 40 inpatient beds. Most of these beds are constantly occupied. The clinic in Radar, another district of Mogadishu, has had to close. Although security conditions have slightly improved, it is not safe enough for us to continue any kind of medical activity. Generic medicines on production lines in an Indian factory. Protected by the Patents Act, this industry has turned India into the pharmacy for developing countries, a pharmacy subjected to frequent attacks. By extending patents, the pharmaceutical companies prevent the manufacture of generic drugs. For the past seven years, pharmaceutical company Novartis has been challenging a section of the Act that prohibits patenting minor changes made to one of its anti-cancer drugs. But the case impacts much more than just this one drug. The manufacture of countless affordable medicines is jeopardised. However, on April 1st, the Supreme Court rejected Novartis's plea. Standing in front of the Supreme Court, Novartis' appeal was dismissed. Uh, it basically means that medicines will continue to be produced in India. Uh, it does not mean that patents will not be a problem, but they will be less of a problem than we had anticipated. So this is really a big win. Boniface, Fred, Owen and Augustine live in Malawi. Throughout the world, there are 220,000 people like them living with HIV and who are being treated by MSF thanks to affordable medicines. Millions of patients will now be able to continue to benefit from affordable treatment. Trapped at the gates of Europe. Published by Médecins Sans Frontières, this report raises the alarm on the situation of sub-Saharan migrants in Morocco. As European Union border countries step up their combat against illegal immigration, the migrants' living conditions worsen. Since the end of April last year, we've seen an escalation in intentional violence and a rise in the number of patients who've fallen victim to abuse by the Moroccan security forces and sometimes by the Spanish security forces. The report also expresses its concerns regarding sexual violence. In two years, MSF has treated 700 victims, women who receive no assistance or protection from the authorities. First they stripped me, then they raped me, one after the other, taking it in turns. I passed out. I didn't know, but when they threw water at me, that's when I realized I'd passed out. I got up slowly and went out to the street. In spite of the violence, the report also mentions the improvement in the migrants' access to health care. Respect for human rights is now the priority which is why MSF is handing over its activities to specialist organizations. A 
baby has just been born in the Buin Health Centre. The doctors in the maternity unit keep a close eye on him. Mum's labour was more than 24 hours, which is obviously exhausting for a baby as well and can be very dangerous for a baby. This baby was born um, healthy yesterday, weighing 2.65 kilos. So this morning we just need to make sure that um, this baby on day one of life is, is thriving. So he's doing quite well today. Admissions to the Buin Maternity Unit have been steadily increasing since the project began. Expectant mothers are referred by small clinics in the area. They spend several days here before giving birth to avoid travelling on rough roads during labour. An awareness raising campaign has also just been launched with MSF support to inform women on a new programme for victims of sexual violence. Up until now, there has been no such treatment available in Bougainville. The doctors are doing their rounds in the cardiology unit. This is Grozny's Republican Emergency Hospital. When MSF first started working in the unit two years ago, needs were immense. Atherosclerosis, or vascular lesion, is one of the primary causes of cardiovascular disease. Risk factors provoking coronary artery conditions are bad habits, especially smoking. And our traditional cooking is unhealthy. The war and the military operations are also stress factors, and they too have had a negative impact. Oxygen concentrators, defibrillators and electrocardiographs. This equipment has reduced the unit's mortality rate by over 75%. More than 1,500 patients have received treatment in just one year. I've had three heart attacks. And why is that? Because of the war. I'm still young, and this is the fourth time I've been in this hospital. All the patients talk about the lack of access to treatment, the cost of drugs, and the difficulties of everyday life in Chechnya, a country still embroiled in conflict. The cardiology unit gives them a new lease of life.